All right, in this example, we're going to look at a converging lens. So consider the converging lens an object shown at the left. Uh, the blue ellipse is my lens. The black arrow pointing up is the object. It's an arrow, so we know its orientation. Uh, and I tell you that the focal length has a magnitude of 40 centimeters, and the object distance is 90 centimeters. So we want to calculate the position of the image, the magnification of the image, and some of the qualitative properties of the image in the system. So, by the thin lens conventions, the focal length is positive since this is a converging lens. And the object distance is positive as well since the object is on the left side of the lens. So, we can use the thin lens equation to calculate the final image distance. That's 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. And we can use the sign conventions that we established before. So, starting with that equation, we plug in 40 centimeters for the focal length. Uh, make sure it is positive 40. We plug in 90 centimeters for the object distance. That's positive 90. And that equals our image distance. So, doing a little bit of math, we get 5 over 360 is equal to 1 over the image distance, or the image distance is 72 centimeters. Uh, note that the image distance is a positive number, and by the conventions that means it's going to be on the right-hand side of the lens. Now that we've solved for the image distance, we can solve for the magnification. So magnification is equal to minus di divided by do plugging in 72 for the image distance and 90 for the object distance, we get minus 0.8. So, we can analyze some qualitative properties now. First, the image is smaller in size than the object itself. So why is that? The magnitude of the magnification is less than 1, so it's a smaller uh, image in size. Next, it's an inverted image. Uh, how do I know that? Well, m is less than 0, or it is a negative magnification. It's upside down. And finally, we know that it's a real image. Now, how do I know that? Well, the easiest way to see that is to actually draw the ray diagram. So here I've drawn out the ray diagram for the system. Uh, you'll notice that the red ray uh, first comes in uh, parallel to the horizontal, exits through a focal point. Uh, the blue ray first goes through a focal point, then exits parallel and the green ray goes through the center of the lens itself. And when I trace those out, I can see the uh, image itself. And because all three rays actually intersect at a real point in space, I know that that is a real image. So a few final thoughts. Number one, the converging lens has a positive focal length. We need to use the correct sign convention when we're dealing with the thin lens equation. And number two, what would happen if the object were on the right-hand side of the lens rather than the left-hand side?